Hi, in this short video we're going to take a look at the disk protection feature that is part of the new Multipoint Server 2012. This feature is um, really beneficial to PCs that are in public places with multiple users uh, because as changes are made to the system, applications get installed from the internet, malware might wind up on the system, we're able to basically wipe those changes out instantly on every reboot. So let's say that I have uh, my multi-point system here set up exactly the way I want. I've got all the applications that I want, everything's uh, set exactly as I want it to be. If I want to preserve this state, uh, it's as easy as going to enable disk protection in multi-point manager. If I click OK, it is going to uh, reboot the system and put it in a state that will flush uh, any changes that are made on each reboot. So we'll reboot the system now and show you what the effect is. So here we are back from our reboot and we've gone back into Multipoint Manager. Now you can see that we have um, disk protection enabled. Uh, we give you a couple of options now. Uh, one of them would be, for example, to uh, automatically pick up uh, security patches in the middle of the night. Of course, we're going to let you do that. But, you know, what is this feature actually doing for us? So let's use this prank as an example of a malicious file. And let's say that a student uh, has got access to uh, the PC and wants to move that file into the startup folder. So that file is going to show up uh, every time the system boots and uh, the child's going to have a laugh at the teacher. Now we're going to put in another reboot and let's see what happened to that file. Okay, so we're back from our second reboot now. And if we go take a look for that file, you'll notice not only has it not launched, but it's actually gone from the startup folder. So that's the benefit of turning on disk protection and preventing changes to your system. So there you have it. With disk protection, a very simple way to keep your multi-point servers exactly as you want them to be. Thanks.